Hello and welcome to another episode of Construction Week's Expert Interview Series, where we speak to experts within the construction, infrastructure, and real estate sectors about the developments in the region's built environment. Joining us today is Francois Frigo, the Regional Director at Census, who will be sharing his insights on water resources in the Middle East, the role of digitalization, and the need to drive sustainability to beckon the future of the sector and safeguard our planet. To start off, Francois, thank you for joining us on the show today. Thank you, Anup, for receiving me and for your time asking me these questions. It's a pleasure to have you here with us, Francois. To start off, we know that water has a big role to play in the construction industry, especially in the Middle East, where it's a scarce resource. Could you get into a bit about what are the key threats facing the water resources in the Middle East? Uh, that, that's a fantastic question, but before going into that, I would like to give you a very quick uh, uh, background of who we are. Uh, Census is part of the Xylem group, and Xylem is a global uh, technology provider who um, uh, focuses on the water cycle from water intake to water transport, distribution, treatment, and reintroduction in the natural uh, uh, cycle. And the uh, census is at the heart of this uh, cycle in the distribution part where we provide smart uh, water measurement solutions. Um, coming back to your question, the, the major uh, threat to water resources in the Middle East uh, lies in the gap between the limited uh, fresh water availability and the uh, always increasing uh, demand of water. Actually, as we all know, the Middle East is a desertic climate, uh, very dry with limited rainfalls mm -hmm. and uh, a, a very high evaporation rate. And, uh, uh, in this context, uh, paradoxically, we have uh, mega cities like Dubai, Abu Dhabi, Jeddah, Riyadh that are uh, growing uh, very fast uh, since the 40, 50 years, uh, past 40, 50 years with uh, an exponential acceleration uh, within the past uh, two decades. And uh, uh, in this context, the water utilities in the Middle East uh, have the necessity to go for uh, smart solutions and deploy digitalization across their network. As you mentioned digitalization, could you go a little more into what role digitalization plays in terms of advancing the water and utility sector in the region? So um, uh, the water utilities uh, sector uh, uh, globally has not uh, been one of the sectors that has uh, uh, ad adopted uh, innovative and uh, um, advanced technologies uh, a lot, but we are seeing in the in the Middle East and particularly in the Gulf, in KSA and UAE, uh, water utilities that are, are that are deploying um, uh, on a large scale uh, artificial intelligence and uh, uh, smart solutions to uh, uh, um, uh, generate uh, massive uh, quantities of uh, real time data in order to better manage the network. Uh, fight against, wa against water losses and deliver a better service to their consumers. You mentioned smart water solutions where we're bringing in AI and machine learning into the prospect of managing water resources, but how does this feed into the role that smart water plays in terms of the sustainability of our planet? Uh, in, in fact, uh, smart water concept is uh, uh, one brick of the smart cities wall uh, mm -hmm. and, and the smart uh, wa water system uh, uh, is in fact uh, uh, the deployment of smart sensors across the network combined with uh, advanced communication technology and uh, uh, this uh, gives a lot of data real-time data to the utilities that are processed by analytic software and uh, this uh, leads to uh, the um, optimization of the water uh, uh, utilization and a better uh, reactiveness on operations uh, and also a, a better uh, uh, focus on the uh, profitability of the, the water system. Right. We also know that Xylem recently launched the Water for a Healthy World report. Could you touch upon some of the key insights of this report? 
So this report is uh, happening every five years and it is uh, defining some key sustainability targets for our uh, multinational. And uh, uh, over the past five years, we are very happy to see that uh, uh, this report uh, highlights the fact that uh, uh, Xylem and Census have uh, exceeded by far all the targets, all the sustainability targets without going much into details. I would like to quote uh, the, the one of which we are uh, very proud of is uh, the reduction of greenhouse gas emissions yeah. that we are set uh, five years ago to a 20% reduction, and we reached 28.3%, which is about one third of our uh, greenhouse gas emission that has been uh, decreased. That's wonderful. Could you give some examples about what the future of the utility sector holds, especially in terms of construction, and whether you think it's gonna be more sustainable than it currently is? So um, the future of uh, the, the, the water utility sector lies into uh, the introduction of more and more innovative uh, technologies and uh, digitalization and, and so on. And at the same time, the fight against non-revenue water. Non-revenue water is uh, actually um, uh, the, the, the gap between the water produced and uh, the, the water uh, consumed, the water reaching the consumer. And on a global uh, scale, the average non-revenue water rate is about 40%, which wouldn't be acceptable in other industries, like if you, we take, in, for instance, the car industry, a car manufacturer, we, we would not accept that he manufactures 100 cars and scrap 40 of them. Uh, but this is the reality in the water industry and everyone accepts it. So this is what we need to fight. And this is what some uh, uh, key utilities in the region like Dewa, Adwea or uh, NWC in KSA are implementing to, to make sure that all the investment and the OPEX uh, um, that has cost to uh, uh, produce the, the water is not lost on the way through leaks. So uh, at Census, we have uh, some uh, smart uh, uh, solutions that can detect leaks, that can help the water utilities uh, be more uh, proactive also to uh, anticipate on those events and uh, um, uh, give a better service and a better uh, optimization of the water use. This discussion was extremely informative. Thank you, Francois, for sharing your thoughts with us today. It was great having you on the show. Thank you, Anup. It was my pleasure to answer your questions. And uh, uh, I'm uh, available if you need uh, to have more details. Definitely, Francois. We look forward to talking to you again in the future. For those of you watching, you know the drill. Feel free to comment, share, like, and subscribe for more such videos with experts in the industry. That's all for now, and until next time, goodbye.